Now, it's been revealed that the minister in charge of overseeing the ABC knew about the plans to sack the then managing director, Michelle Guthrie. With her thoughts on this, Shadow Communications Minister Michelle Rowland joins us now from Michael. From <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's an absolute Freudian slip there. From Canberra, Michelle, good morning. My apologies. Good morning. Good morning. Now that we have the departmental investigation into Michelle Guthrie's sacking, are you satisfied that the decision was justified? Well, to be clear, Virginia, what this what was was an investigation by the Secretary of the Department of Communications and the Arts into media reports on the 26th of September this year. So he was requested to do that by the Minister and uh, he did that as he would in a professional manner and that was released by the Minister yesterday. The key points in this go to the veracity of the media reports that day in relation to uh, specifically to ABC journalists Emma Alborici and Andrew Proben and uh, the the uh, secretary uh, found in those cases that the, there were some findings of fact that indeed the reporting of certain emails and conversations had taken place. But in relation to a number of key questions about uh, political interference in those allegations, uh, they are still wanting. And that is why Labor has been calling for a public inquiry to be conducted by the Senate uh, that looks specifically into ABC governance and upholding its independence and integrity. Uh, well, let's just st stay on that for a moment, then I'll return to the question which hasn't been answered yet. The inquiry found no justification for the view that either the then Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull or other government ministers tried to secure the sacking of those ABC journalists. Well, we knew that, and we knew that because uh, both the minister had stated that and the former Prime Minister had stated that. But so, it also so, so, that's, says... so that's dealt with then? That is dealt with, but it also specifically says in relation to that that uh, both Mr Milne and uh, Ms Guthrie had the impression, the clear impression, that there would be uh, certain consequences and that there would be, there was a certain view held by government uh, in relation to how these matters were being handled. Now, as I said, the, uh, the Secretary did not make any other specific findings in relation to that other than uh, those observations. But the key point here is that this clearly raises more questions than answers. Uh, indeed, if the Minister uh, has said that uh, there was no direct uh, request or instruction. The question remains, well, what sort of uh, covert uh, interference uh, had taken place? Because clearly these two people were left uh, in no doubt as to the government's view on these matters and the fact that the ABC could be impacted by how this matter was being handled. And these are the questions that need to be explored publicly. Let's deal with the situation as we find it right now. Do you have confidence in the current board of the ABC? I think that these are questions that need to be answered and I don't think a view can be formed on that I, without I, having a I'm full gonna, public I'm inquiry. I'm just going to jump in there. As the Shadow Communications Minister, it must be something that on a daily basis, particularly given the circumstance we find ourselves in, you would be focused on. So I'm going to ask that again because I, I do believe you should have a view on this. Do you have confidence in the current ABC board? I have confidence that the ABC board uh, is performing its duties. As to whether or not it's performing those duties uh, to the full spirit and to the letter of the law, that is something that I simply do not know, Virginia. And that is why I believe and Labor believes that there needs to be uh, a full public inquiry into this. I only have access to a certain amount of information, both as a member of the public and as the Shadow Communications Minister. And I actually think that uh, it would be wrong uh, of me uh, to form a view, uh, not knowing the full set of facts. I would hope uh, that they are acting in a way in which not only myself, but the Australian people can have full confidence. And that's what I think is the most important here. The Minister has acknowledged that he knew beforehand of Ms Guthrie's looming sacking and he clearly didn't interfere in that playing out, in that decision. Is that reassuring to you that there wasn't any direct or even indirect ministerial interference in the way that that board decision played out? Well, as I said from the outset, uh, the board uh, can make uh, this decision and it doesn't need to give reasons for it. So they exercised uh, their judgment and their powers uh, as provided for uh, under the legislation. And what, and what sort of person should be selected to be the next MD, do you think? 
Well, I think that that person clearly needs to be a champion of the ABC uh, at a time when the ABC is under uh, political attack in various forms, uh, but also someone who needs to be focused on the morale uh, of the organisation. Having been contacted and uh, having engaged with uh, a number of people uh, representing the ABC and also just in conversations, uh, I recognise that that's a very important thing for our mo most trusted broadcaster. Now, the department secretary who, who ran this, um, this inquiry, Mike Murdoch, apparently didn't get hold of um, Michelle Guthrie's 11-page dossier that she sent to the board before she was finally sacked, even though that dossier has been widely uh, leaked and reported. Have, have you seen it? No, I have not. Does it surprise you that he didn't manage to get hold of it? Well, to, with all respect to the secretary, he was required to undertake a very discreet task and he did that uh, to the best of his ability. He's a professional. Uh, but again, I think that this points to the fact that this inquiry uh, was a whitewash designed by the minister to try and say nothing to see here, everybody should move on. Uh, and again, it points to the need for a uh, transparent public inquiry into this matter to be conducted by the Senate that goes specifically to issues of independence, integrity and governance, because governance is all about trust. Now, just finally, before I let you go this morning, uh, Michelle Rowland, there are calls from some Liberal backbenchers today for long-term detainee children to be released from Nauru. Do you regret that the Australian Labor Party has played such a key role in detaining adults and children on Nauru for so long, with that 2013 agreement being signed by uh, then Prime Minister Kevin Rudd? Well, let's be clear, uh, there were matters during the 2010-2013 uh, Parliament which could have seen a very different result here, including uh, the Malaysia uh, agreement that Labor had proposed. But I think going forward, it is very clear uh, that there is a strong public sentiment and there is also strong sentiment across the Parliament that we need to be guided as parliamentarians uh, by what clinicians uh, are saying, that they should be making decisions in this matter, they should have access uh, to these children and that uh, their welfare uh, should be paramount. You're talking there about the AMA and uh, Medicines Sans Frontiers as well? Certainly. Alright, good to talk to you this morning, thanks so much. Pleasure.